In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a column chart. So the column chart allows us to easily compare different values. So what we're going to use to analyze the data is the game preference analysis, this, this section here. Um, we have the data and the labels in the table. So the first thing I'm going to do is to highlight the data labels and the data values. I'm going to come across to, um, to the insert menu and select recommended charts. If I select recommended charts, it gives me suggestions of charts that I could create. So you could see I could create a pie chart to display this information, or I could create a column chart to create this information. Also, if I click on all charts, it allows me to select from a, uh, a large um, array of charts. So I'm gonna stick with recommended charts and I'm gonna click on the simple column chart here. I'm gonna click okay. So my basic chart is created, but in order for this chart to be uh, complete, you need to make sure that firstly we have um, a chart title and you also need to have X and Y axis labels. Not necessarily, um, you don't need a legend because obviously the uh, the labels on the bottom here give you your legend. It's telling you what these columns represent. So only on the pie chart do you need to use a legend. So in, order, in the same way as we did last time, uh, we're going to come across the add chart elements uh, option. If you happen to click off this by any chance and you click on there and you can't find the add, the add chart ele element or you clicked off the chart, if you just reselect the chart, okay, you can go back on the chart design and there is where you find your add chart element. So I'm adding chart element. I'm going to give um, the uh, chart a title and I'm going to call this uh, game preference. Okay, preferably with a space between the two words. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to give the axis titles, uh, axis, um, axis, axis titles. So I'm going to go back onto our chart element. I'm going to come down to axis titles. I'm going to go to the horizontal axis. So this is the game option. Okay. And I'm going to come back on the chart element. I'm going to add another axis title, and this time I'm going to go vertical. And this is going to be a number of people. Okay. Um, if you would like to, if you want to, you can add um, uh, labels on your on your uh, graph, like you did in the, on your chart, like you did in the pie chart. So I could add data labels to the uh, outside end to give me the values if I wanted to. Um, it's entirely up to you. You've still got the more data label options at the bottom, which, which opens up that, uh, that option for you on the left hand side, there, on the right hand side of the page. So you could go through the same process as you did with the pie charts. But uh, I'm going to choose not to have data labels on mine. So I'm going to take those data labels off. So now we've completed the work on how to create a column chart.